Hi, Champ Camp. This is Jamba. This is Poppy. So we are zooming in here to you from the Aloha Room. And today's color is blue. And the emotion that goes along with blue is sadness. So today we want to talk about the emotion of sadness. Now, I know we have a lot to be sad about right now with a lot of the stuff that's going on in the world. And um, so we want to talk about how to work with sadness. And the first thing that I want to say, Poppy, is that we can accept that being sad's okay, right? Exactly. That all emotions are okay. And there's a reason that you are feeling that emotion based on what experience you might be going through. So it's okay that you might be sad because things have changed. Um, there are things that you might not be doing um, or people that you might not be seeing. So it's okay to have that emotion. Right, and um, you know, sometimes um, when really bad things happen in the world or to us, um, sadness is a normal response. It's like, it's not fun. So, so how do we work with it? You know, a lot of times um, when I feel sad is I, first I try to just like be with it for a little bit before I try to change it. And, and try to figure out why I'm feeling sad. And so then once I figure out why I'm feeling sad, I don't wanna get stuck there. So when we get stuck in sadness, like when we suck, get stuck feeling really low and down, it's what some people call depression or like really getting um, really caught up in our grief and yeah. in our loss. So, you know, grief and loss and sadness are a part of life, but how do we, deal with it so it doesn't um, interfere with us being able to just to do the normal things in our day, right? Just to function. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the things that make you sad, Poppy? Well, I haven't actually seen my parents in, a, in quite a long time, in a couple months, and I usually see them every month. So not seeing my parents has made me sad because yeah. they don't live in the same area that I live in. Yeah, I can feel you on that one. And uh, I got sad when um, this very big uh, sporting event that I've been training for, for uh, many, many months was canceled. Mm. So it was something that I was really looking forward to and it was like, yeah. yeah. And I just got really, really sad. So one thing I like to do when I feel sad, and this is what I encourage all of you to do if you're having some sadness, is talk to a friend or someone you trust. So talking to people, that I trust and my friends, my other champ camp um, family friends or other friends in other parts of my life. Um, when I talk to people, it always makes me feel better. It always makes me feel like somebody is understands or listening to me. Just it, that alone really helps. Like yeah, talking exactly. to you, Poppy helps. Yeah, exactly. I agree because it helps to not feel alone. Um, mm -hmm. That there might be other people that are feeling the same thing you do. Right. So talking is really important. The other thing I like to do is I like to go in my mind to a happy or joyful or safe place. And so what I'd like you all to do with me that are watching this right now, and Poppy, I want you to do this along with me too, is um, Poppy in, in all of my champ campers, um, close your eyes for a second and um, just remember, go back in your mind to a place that is a really happy memory, a place where you felt completely safe, you felt completely like nothing bad is happening there. This could be your favorite place where your family vacations, it could be champ camp, it could be um, maybe a grandma's house or something, it could be any place, it could be an imaginary place, it could be like a cool planet that's designed just like with everything you love on it. So it could be anything you want. So once you come up with something in your mind, do you have a place, Poppy? I do. I was thinking of uh, this beach that I like to go to, and it's okay. nice and quiet and relaxing and beautiful, okay. and it always makes So go back to that beach with me, and everybody okay. that go back to that place you thought of, and I want you to think about everything in your mind's eye, in your imagination, everything you see there everything that maybe you hear there, maybe there's smells like in the beach, maybe you smell the ocean. Um, maybe if you're in the forest, you smell the trees, the pine trees, whatever. So 
everything you smell, everything you see, everything you hear. Do you hear the waves? Do you hear wind in the trees? Do you hear um, laughter? What do you hear there? And everything that you taste, maybe you just ate something really good or had a really good like popsicle or a really great cup of coffee would be for me. And, um, or maybe, um, and, and also what do you feel? Are you touching anything? Are you on warm sand? Are you sitting on a warm rock? Or is your back up against a pine tree? Um, what are the things that you feel there? And then what are the emotions that you're experiencing in that happy place? So when you really tag into all those things, you can really remember it. And when you are feeling really, really sad or blue, you can close your eyes and go, oh, I'm gonna go to my happy place. So did that um, happy place feel good to you, Poppy? Yes, it actually made me feel more energized, um, but also not as maybe stressed. I know even sometimes when we're sad, we're maybe feel like our emotions are a little out of control. And so it really um, helped me feel centered, which helped me to feel a little bit more energized with, um, with myself inside. Awesome. Super cool. So remember that beach when you're feeling sad or blue next time. Okay. Exactly. All right, Sham Can. So that's our, um, our topic on blue, the um, emotion sadness today. So I want to remind you that when you're feeling sad, it's okay and normal to feel sad when sad things happen. And it's really helpful to talk to somebody about what's going on, somebody that you trust. And, um, also go to your happy place if you want to go to a place to um to get you out of that deep 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 funk that sadness often puts us in so thank you so much and we will see you on the next color day at champ camp all bye, right everyone. bye